I got a question too. Like uh, I was looking at uh, at the uh, law of love and uh, the formation of community, where mm -hmm. there's a male that has, uh, let's say, more than one partner, mm -hmm. and then they have uh, offspring, and it's a uh, formation of a community. You know, of a family, yes, of families, the laws of, of um, the, the law of love, yes, and mm -hmm. the pictures you mean. Yeah. And the question is? Well, I'm just trying to, maybe, uh, I mean, I, I thought it was, uh, it was like a, a formation of community, but uh, I guess maybe I'm not clear on that. You're saying family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, family, but, family. That's mm -hmm. for family, mm -hmm. but it's not, a, of course, it's not a must. No, of course. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess, oh, sorry, and it's just a, the thought is uh, also like uh, how how deeply ingrained is the uh, the religious conditioning of the, um, you know, the one woman for one man, one man for one woman, uh, religious conditioning. Like, you know, how it affects us uh, so uh, so deeply. We don't even realize how deep the, uh, the religious conditioning actually is. Yeah, not just religious, but also from, from society, from customs, from traditions. Uh, there are many, uh, many influences and hindrances. Mm -hmm. And then you have, like, uh, you know, all the problems, right, associated with that. Mm -hmm. Of course. In the universe, there are different beings. And uh, I was talking to a person about insects and uh, birds and all these things that through time they evolve, like we evolve. And we evolve from something very small to where we are now. And Billy mentioned about the different types of beings, and there were insectoid beings. Mm -hmm. And the conversation I had with somebody was they said, insectoid beings, they said, that's really scary. And I said, why would it be scary? Mm -hmm. They're just beings with another form. And I said, for me, they may be different, and I might look at them and say, hey, not so physically attractive, or maybe they have much more physical power than I do, but they've evolved. And the question was, did they evolve from smaller insects into insectoid beings? And will they evolve from insectoid beings into beings that look like us, or will they continue on into their evolution into the spirit realm? No, they have their own line of evolution. They won't turn, ultimately turn into our shape. That's what I thought. We are yes. just one species, one one form. Right, right. Uh, quite a harmonious form, as Bayan uh, said. And uh, that's exactly one. Another example of uh, true love or the other one right. that you will see if even if the other yeah. person has four arms on the yeah. three <laughs> eyes or five eyes. <laughs> he is what he is, and you see the, the human being behind. Yes, yes, yes. that's uh, yes, yes. that's that was my yeah, my feeling for respecting <coughs> and loving so many things around you, even the smallest things, that all these things evolve, mm -hmm. just like we've evolved. So uh, in that, I see tolerating differences. Mm -hmm. I see strength in myself because I accept them for what they are, and I don't see them better or mm -hmm. less than me. They may have different capabilities than me, maybe be stronger physically, or maybe have certain mental abilities, but I still tolerate, so that, I, again, I see as a love. Yeah. Of course, as long as they are not attacking you. Yeah, yes, but, but, but even then, you should also love your enemy. You should mm -hmm. never, never lose the respect for for the other people, be it Hitler or Stalin, everybody, the core of the human being, you must respect all the time. This has also to do with realization, with love, mm -hmm. but uh, the actions, that's a different thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had a very interesting experience one night, several years ago, where I fell asleep reading the book, the Tibetan Book of the Dead, and then I think I fell asleep, but then I, well, I'm not sure if I woke up or if it, if it was a dream, but I experienced lights in my bedroom. And then the lights were kind of like, I don't, I'm not quite sure why I experienced these lights, but I think it's also because I, you know, I was reading Shirley MacLaine's books at that time too, you know, mm -hmm. uh, Out on the Limb. So I was kind of having some kind of a, either an illusional experience or some kind of experience of bright light in my room. But 
the effect of that was for three days afterwards, I had this incredible feeling of being connected with everything and everyone around me, which I'd never felt before. Like I felt even connected with, um, you know, like street people that prior to that experience, I would never mm -hmm. feel this connection. And it lasted for three days. So my question is, what was I experiencing? Yeah, I don't know. There are different possibilities. But uh, this comes close. Um, there may be glimpses or instances where you have um, more of this uh, fake kind of feeling of connectedness with people. Mm -hmm. uh, you also have this in uh, there are instances uh, in, in, in a marriage or if you are out in, in nature, certainly you will have this this uh, feeling of connection as you are sitting there and, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, your sorrows and problems are away mm -hmm. and then you, you feel connected. So that when you think of the fight or the flight, you know when you have a this is your walk next to you and all of a sudden jumps over and jumps over and they're going to hurt you or rob you or shoot you or knife you and you have this feeling where you want to run away because you don't want to be hurt or you immediately want to fight and stop the person who's trying to hurt you. And then you have more and more uh, power than usually yeah. in yeah. such a situation. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, uh, to do this you, you can rely on your subconsciousness sometimes if you are open for you are in contact with the subconsciousness it knows what you have to do to have control over your thinking is also uh, important that you foresee dangerous situations that you don't go mm. into if you see over oh, there there is a right you go don't go near looking and so mm -hmm. because you are going away yeah. you don't go into violent situations Mm -hmm. You leave it, mm -hmm. but of course, certainly, if I'm trying, I'm sitting here and someone comes. Yes, I also, uh, once I had, I was working in a psychiatric hospital, once I had to go to get a patient, and then certainly he took his, his knife for me, held it here with me on my throat, and well, tried to test me if I'm, uh, scared. whether I'm scared, and so I really remain calm. And talked with him and so I said, yeah, it's uh, not convenient to have a knife on my throat, and so yeah. of course that's not, <laughs> not a normal situation. He, he tried to test me and eventually after about five or ten minutes he took it away. Mm -hmm. So it's, um, yeah, I did not see this coming, but uh, so you have to be prepared. You must be prepared um, about these things. And, to your question regarding peace. It's about protecting and creating a space for the other stuff to happen, right? Yeah, to, to shut out negative things, uh, yeah. problems, to get a uh, clearer mind or awareness or, or consciousness. <coughs> mm -hmm. so, yeah, creating that space. For, some, some people say that without peace there's no evolution in a way that, because like, like in society, society, society is always at war not going to have time to really deal with the higher values. If it's so, so when the society is peaceful, more energy can be put towards growing, right? Mm -hmm. So peace is about protecting that. Kind of well, peace is about not being aggressive uh, for uh, itself. Yeah. Of course, every human being must have some kind of aggression. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a requirement for each human being to uh, have to do with self-preservation of your life because each human being is uh, responsible in the first case for oneself. That's above. You must always do other. You must not. You are doing actually, a human being does everything for himself or herself. That's, uh, that's the basics. Mm -hmm. uh, everything you do, even, even if you are helping some other person, you are doing it for yourself because it gives, it gives you a good feeling, it, it is in line with your thinking, and so uh, there is, you do are actually are doing nothing for yourself. Mm -hmm. Even if you are selfish, or if you are bad, you are doing it for yourself, but uh, it does not good, it does harm you, but it's, it's yourself. So